first thing I wanted to share is that, um, as you've read in the email, maybe you know you're familiar with my past work. I've been looking at my great grand uncle Hui Panong Yong and his kind of his legacy um, that was pretty much erased from the official Thai history. Um, and I started to think of him, or try to like I guess craft this idea, figure of um, what it is to be a, a, a person in diaspora and still have political um, meaning on your. Um, place of birth. Um, and so Grady was born in Ayutthaya, which is the old capital um, in Thailand. Let me try this. And um, the city is an island surrounded by many canals. Um, Grady came from a family of Chinese immigrants from the Tang village in the Shantou region of China and his paternal ancestor moved to Ayutthaya in 1814. Um, and among many other occup occupations, he um, made fermented flour, wait, no, he made flour from fermented rice and um, from that flour made Chinese sweets. Um, the dish that we're gonna taste today is called kanong jin, and um, homonym, like in Thai, the word is homonym, is a homonym of Chinese desserts, even though the original um, name is actually from the Mon tribe, and it just means boiled rice noodles. Um, and actually, this dish was in active production in Ayutthaya in the 14th century, um, and they had many canals that were named after the ingredients. So like they had a uh, claw kanokji where they actually made the noodles and then another claw, claw means canal, um, named after the curry that we'll taste today too, claw nam ya. Um, and so yeah, so the dish is actually traditionally from this Mon tribe. Um, but they it gained popularity throughout Southeast Asia, um, and the components are the well, rice noodles, um, a curry. Uh, the namya is popular in the central area, so it's like a fish-based curry. Um, but you can also like, get green curry um, and other types. Um, and then you blend you blend it with boiled eggs and um, this variety of ingredients that I asked you to bring. By the early 1950s, the U.S. and its Cold War against communism in Asia had become a factor in Thai politics. The U.S. had become the godfather of its loyalist military alliance. The 1933 charge of communism against Brady was now recalled. Pro-militarists claimed the military had to take power by coup in 1947 because Brady was on the point of raising a communist uprising. The fact that Brady had fled to China was held up as proof of his true political leanings. After China formed a Thai autonomous zone in Sipsong, Banna in 1953, the U.S. constructed an image of Brady spearheading a Chinese invasion of Thailand from Sipsong, Banna. This image was part of the U.S. psychological warfare to persuade Thailand to serve as the U.S. anti-communist bastion in Southeast Asia. Mm. Wow, it's like the, the, US, the Thailand is the Israel of Southeast Asia. Seriously, wow. Is wow. Yeah. So well, that's the that's the period when we're setting all this up. Yeah. Where it's a hundred years of world domination. Mm. So um, this event, the second of November, nineteen forty-seven, mm -hmm. corresponds this, in this moment where people, the military dictator, sent his gunmen to get Brady at his riverside home, and that raked the front of the house with gunfire before bursting in. Brady was relaxing in his pajamas. That burst of gunfire gave him the time he needed. He slipped out the back door and saw a sampan boat drifting lazily by. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. He mm -hmm. held the boatman, jumped aboard, and got mm -hmm. away across the river, still in his pajamas. So, yeah, I just picked all the phrases that really struck me. There were bonfires in what had been strawberry patches. Mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. Like I don't even know where it came from. I'm sorry. <laughs> can I can I comment on that really quick? Yeah, that makes please. me think of the the maps that have been coming out of Gaza too, like oh. of the fields. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this is the whole thing with like, the olive trees, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Social dividing line between commoner and high horn. Mm. 
absolute anarchy caught after a great struggle. Oh, oh sorry, a rich, nameless absolute anarchy <clears throat> caught after a great struggle. A monarchy destroying communist, a demon. Mm. Ho Chi Minh, Aung San, mm. Jawaharlal Nehru, Sukarno, to dine with him in the name, <laughs> the Society of Privilege and Exclusivity. Ooh. I'm gonna make a suit. Those are some, <laughs> those are amazing. Yeah, bravo. Bravo. Yeah, I'm going to put the words in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Actually, booze, maybe? <laughs> I'm going to wait and waste the booze. Like, yeah. Just pour a little out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Libation. Right. Oops. There we go. Okay. My okay. stew. Give me what's <laughs> down here.